Hey guys, how you doing? This is Ain't Woven, and today I'm gonna teach you a little trick on making your audio interface sound better. Now this is specifically for the Behringer UM2, but if you have another audio interface, the same logic applies. What happens is basically Windows drivers suck, okay? They're really bad. They make things noisy. They just, it just clashes with whatever you have. I, I decided to look around and see if maybe I could find a solution because my Behringer was sounding really bad. Like it was the noisiest thing in the world. So I was getting a little, you know, frustrated because I didn't want to deal with that. And I found the original drivers, not ASIO, ICO, ASIO, whatever, for all, but actual drivers made for that specific audio interface. And turns out it helped a lot. So as you can probably see on the screen, I'm in Mega. I don't know if this used to be called Mega Upload back in the day. I, I don't remember what this used to be called, but it's great because you go to this website, it gives you the actual drivers that aren't even available on the Behringer site. You get something like this, like this little zip file right here. You unzip it, you get this, you get in here, and you just run the setup with your thing disconnected, <laughs> with your thing, with your audio interface disconnected. When it asks you to connect it, you connect it, and then you're good. It'll maybe ask you to disconnect it and connect it again, do that again. And it gives you an option for a line in after that, a Behringer line in. And that's what you're gonna wanna use for your videos or for whatever audio you're recording. Even though it'll appear as a mono because it has two channels and when you try to change it to one channel in your sound settings, it may not let you. Even though that's the case, you can still usually change it to stereo in your audio recording software or produ production software or whatever so that's the solution for that for this specifically i'm using the line and i used to get so much noise and i can't show you right now let me see let me see if i can show you the audio levels are a lot more decent or clear than they used to be so that's great that makes me really happy and I wanted to share that with you because I'm seeing that there's not a lot of videos on the UM2 on how to fix the noise because usually it's a grounding problem and blah 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 but this could be an easy fix for you as it was for me. And the same logic applies to any other audio interface. Use the drivers that are made for your audio interface. Do not use the Windows drivers because they suck. They're really bad. They can make something that's probably not as noisy, noisy as hell. Like what happened to me. And I was having so much trouble with it and everything was just going so poorly that I just decided to look it up and I found the solution for it. This is a very short video, I know, but I'm excited because <laughs> now my mic works fine and my mic is not a cheap, cheapy mic or anything like that. So it, it makes me really happy. So yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. Leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, please. Thank you so much for watching. I upload videos every single weekend about tech or gaming. And I hope you guys have a good one. Bye-bye.